After years of rumors, leaks, and speculation, Apple has finally unveiled the Vision Pro, its first VR headset. The announcement came as the one more thing of Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference event, at which it also unveiled a new 15-inch MacBook Air, new features coming with iOS 17, and a new M2 Ultra processor, among other reveals. In this video, you'll find all of the official details about the Apple Pro VR headset, including its price, specs, and design. But before we start, don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Apple says the Vision Pro will start at $3,499. That wording suggests that more expensive options will be available, but right now we don't know what those higher-priced headsets might offer over the standard model. As for release date for the Vision Pro, Apple has only given a vague early next year. That's later than we've been expecting, with leaks suggesting it would launch in the next few months, perhaps around the same time as the iPhone 15. But that isn't the case. As 2024 gets closer, we expect Apple will give us an update on when we'll be able to strap a Vision Pro onto our heads. Interestingly, Apple's website only mentions a US release. Apple has yet to confirm if the Vision Pro will launch in regions outside of the US and when that'll happen. Regarding the design, Apple Vision shares a lot of similarities with the current crop of best VR headsets. It has a large face panel that covers your eyes and is secured to your head with a strap made from elasticated fabric, plastic, and padding. But rather than the similarities, Let's focus on the Vision Pro's unique design features. The biggest difference VR veterans will notice is that the Vision Pro doesn't have a battery. Instead, it relies on an external battery pack. This is a sort of evolution of the HTC Vive XR Elite's design, which allowed the headset to go from being a headset with a battery in its strap to a battery-less pair of glasses that relies on external power. This battery pack will provide roughly two hours of use on a full charge according to Apple and is small enough to fit in the wearer's pocket. It'll connect to the headset via a cable, which is a tad unseemly by Apple's usual design standards. But what this choice lacks in style, it should make up for in comfort. If you buy a Vision Pro, you'll find that your box lacks something needed for other VR headsets, controllers. That's because the Vision Pro relies solely on tracking your hand and eye movements, as well as voice inputs, to control its apps and experiences. It'll pick up these inputs using its array of 12 cameras, 5 sensors, and 6 microphones. As the rumors had suggested, the Apple Vision Pro headset will come with some impressive specs to justify its sky-high price. First, the Vision Pro will use two chipsets to power its experiences. One is an M2 chip, the same one you'll find in the Apple iPad Pro and some of the best MacBooks and Macs. This powerful processor will handle the apps and software you're running on the Vision Pro. Meanwhile, the R1 chipset will deal with the mixed reality side of things, processing the immersive elements of the Vision Pro that turn it from a glorified wearable Mac display to an immersive spatial computer. On top of these chips, the Vision Pro has crisp 4K micro OLED displays, one per eye, that offer roughly 23 million pixels each. According to Apple, the Vision Pro's display fits 64 pixels into the same space that the iPhone screen fits one single pixel, and this could eliminate the annoying screen door effect that affects other VR headsets. These components will allow you to run an array of Apple software through Apple's new Vision OS platform. This includes immersive photos and videos, custom-made Disney Plus experiences, and productivity apps like Keynote. With the power of the M2 chip, Apple's headset should be able to run most Mac apps natively. For now, however, Apple hasn't revealed if these and other apps will be available natively on the Vision Pro or if you'll need a Mac to unlock the headset's full potential. We expect these details will be revealed nearer to the headset's 2024 launch. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.